All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Says we should be online, so. Okay, so. Let me give my uh. Let me give my phone a second here to catch up to the stream. Okay, so. Let's do a recap of uh, last week's uh, run, last week's episode. So, we, um, Toya told me are falling, right? I mean, they're falling pretty fast. The big thing really was Hideyoshi just passing away, honestly. So, last week, he finally kicked the bucket after, like, a truce. I guess the truce did kind of help. We had a truce for, like, uh, I think it was eight months or a year, something like that, and that ended up causing... Uh, us to just do nothing while Hideyoshi just kind of withered away, which is fine by me So that's one of those weird corner cases where truce has actually worked But outside of that Like I like I said last week, I, I don't think truces are kind of a trap in this game in my opinion so Hideyoshi finally uh, Kicked the bucket Hideyori took over and right away you can tell the change in the AI like the AI is Not as good like there's a big drop-off you know also we retook the north Toshie finally paid the price finally died finally got him uh, he's been dodging me for like six or seven years I feel like so we finally got Toshie out of the picture now we're gonna head towards Osaka for a pretty big siege so I don't know if I could win the siege probably not <laughs> that's my guess but I don't know that I'm going to get there. So we're ready to deploy. We're ready to deploy and head towards Osaka. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight our way through just to surround the city. Now the Toyotomi did deploy some troops towards uh, the Chosokabe here. I don't know if there's any good ones though. Well, actually, there's the Blade Master. Saiso's on his way over there. Okay, Kanbei's on his way over there. Tadaoki. Okay, so some of the really good officers are far away right now. They're going to be dealing with the Chosokabe. So this is the perfect time to at least start heading towards Osaka. If I can take this, uh, then I think it's a wrap for them. You know, like I said last week, they were spiraling. But they've managed to recoup their losses, build everything up. I mean, you know, you can't, like... When, when a force is really large, you can't just win the war in one battle. Uh, that's pretty rare. I don't, I don't know that... I, I can't say that I've done that. I can't say that I've won a war against a large force in one battle. Maybe the Nagamasa stream, where we took out Nobunaga early on. Maybe that... In that special case, you could say that, yes, the war was won in one battle. But most of the time, you just can't, so... They were ready to rebuild their forces. We're going to have to fight our way towards Osaka. Hopefully, the idea is that hopefully I have enough gas left in the tank after fighting our way there that we can actually siege the city. But I don't think so. Usually the way this game works is you, if you have to fight towards a big siege, you're going to be out of steam by the time you get there. So Oh, we'll see. oh, another thing. We got a province created. I don't even know who's in charge of it. I kind of did it on a whim. Moritaka. Moritaka's running pretty much everything east of Minnow. I got like one one uh, castle in Awari, but everything else he's pretty much got. So I'm going to leave that to him because there's nothing really to do here. All this is kind of empty. Like our force does not have enough officers if you've seen my mazayuki playthrough it's the exact same situation in the mazayuki run i think i've got 28 castles 50 officers 52 officers and in this one i've got 29 castles and 50 officers so across both of my playthroughs on this channel right now i've got two officers per castle that's my average is two per castle so it's not great it's not great, so that's why I left it to the to the AI to manage. Because, I mean, there's nothing to do over here, really. We're allied with the Tokugawa. Not because we want to be, but because we have to. I don't, I don't think I can fight the Tokugawa and Hideyoshi. 
Like, if I had the officers for it, I'd try it. But I don't even have the officer core for it. So I, I can't even try it. Literally, some of these castles are, like, empty, you know? Tokugawa are clashing with the Hojo. That's, I think that's why I made an alliance with them. I think I... Let me see. Let me refresh myself. Because uh, I don't remember... 67. So I could send them to attack them after they stop fighting. I can send the Tokugawa to attack the Hojo again. Try to keep them busy fighting each other. We got an alliance with the Uesugi. I can't get an alliance anymore with the Chosokabe, but at this point I feel like, you know, I mean, what am I what else, what else can they do for me? Not really much at this point. This, this was essential early on when we didn't have uh, most of the territory around the capital. It was essential to keep uh, Hideyoshi off balance, but now I don't think so. I don't think we're, they're as necessary anymore. So, And then, of course, the Mori. We don't have, I got nothing with the Mori, man. They're not... They haven't moved. They're kind of stagnant. I'm hoping that they attack. I don't know that they will, but I'm hoping the Mori attack at some point. So yeah, Hideyori, not Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi's gone, he's in the past, Hideyori is trying to put down the Chosokabe, actually I think Morichika passed away, right? This is the son, Nobuchika, oh this is the one that uh, he named after Nobunaga, gave him half of Nobunaga's uh, name. So he's taken over. Hideyori's trying to move in. We're going to deploy everybody that we can and head towards Osaka. 89 officers. This is what I mean about the AI. If you play on a very aggressive level, they don't uh they just don't bother to build up. I don't know why, but they don't they don't really build up. Look at look at all this. 85 officers just sitting in one spot. Insane. So, all the more reason to take Osaka. We've got to get there. If I can get even 20 officers, it'll be huge for my force. <laughs> like I said, we're running a skeleton crew right now. We're running a third late night shift. That's all we're getting by. Just a hand, less than a handful of people. Not even a handful of people. Less than a handful of people. We gotta send everybody out over here. Hey, what's up, Daniel? We're on our way to Osaka. The, the February February is the beginning of the end for the Toyotomi I'm gonna let him know that I'm on the way so he can gather his forces his meager forces also Nobukatsu we had him uh, get married to Sen I completely forgot about that so her loyalty should be does it automatically cap at 20 oh yeah it does okay that's good. One thing that's important for the siege is that you have the most loyal people that you can find participating in the siege so that they don't break early because breaking is like a death sentence. It can be during a siege, I mean. Oh, we got somebody. Okay. Might get one more person. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so... I don't even have anything to build right now. Everything I think is filled out. What I'd like to try to do is uh, maybe a destroy command against Osaka. Let's see. See if that'd be any useful. High chance?
That's got to be because Hideyori's. It's Hideyori and not he, uh, Hideyoshi. High chance of destroying Osaka's walls. Go for it. Like I said, we're going to go all out. We're going to deploy everybody that we can. So as our force is furthest away, pass by the castles, we're just going to keep adding them on. It's just like a roaming horde. It's just going to grow. As it's marching out, it's just going to pick up more and more soldiers and get bigger and bigger. That's what we're going to deploy to try to save on supplies. Because, you know, supplies are... Uh, supplies have been a pain in the ass for me on this, on this run and the uh, Mazuyuki run. But, you know, the Mazuyuki run makes a lot of sense because coming down from uh, Shinano into Kanto, it, it would make sense that that would take a lot of supplies. This, I don't know why, but it feels just as tough to keep together uh, a good supply line. But that's probably a skill issue. It's probably something to do with the way I build my armies. Okay, how long are we allied with Ieyasu? Two months with Ieyasu, so we need to renew that next month. We also need Goodwill. I can't fight Ieyasu. I mean, not yet. It would be great if I could, but I can't. Wow, is there anybody? Nobody's available. All right, let's wait for stuff to get built. Next month, we'll check in next month, see if we have somebody. Well, so Hideyori's pushing towards the Chosokabe to finish them off. Dude, the Chosokabe have been around for like years in this game. They've just held on to that island back and forth for years. They've survived Mori, they've survived um, Toyotomi, they've survived Shimazu. Everything. Chosokabe are still alive. If I get there, I'd like to be able to make them uh, vassals. If I can get there. Yeah, let's bring her. You can imagine if I lose the siege, it's going to be like... Everyone, all my castles are going to be agitated. Every single castle. Yeah, during a siege it is. Daniel, it definitely is during a siege. If you break early during a siege, it's... It's pretty much a done deal. Because the loss is so brutal. Oh, hold on. I think I've got some attendants here. Okay, we've got the new guy, and we've got this guy. Like, I've won a lot of sieges, defensive sieges, just by sitting back. Just sitting back and breaking exactly one unit usually wins me a siege. So, it's the same thing when you're on the offense. If you're not careful, the same thing will happen to you. What's this guy's loyalty? I just got him. Just a weird thing about Siege is you have to look. Loyalty plays a huge factor. 14. That's the highest I can get here. That's not great. I think I'm going to give the command to this guy. He has concerted attack. Actually, who boosts Nobukatsu's stats the most? This guy? Okay. That's 11,000. 
Alright, let's go. I should have given Shigetomo more soldiers. He's like my best officer. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is probably going to be an epic battle. And it's going to be a shame because if we win it, we're not going to be able to uh, trigger anything because of Osaka. It's probably just going to still stand there. All right, let's get the alliance done. Before I forget, because I will forget. Did we get Psycho Rules level 2? No. We can't afford it. Okay, never mind. Can't afford it. Border dispute. Okay, I see Mitsunari, Nagamasa, Yusai's on the way. This is going to be tough. Tough battle to win. Okay, why can't I do this border dispute? Nobukatsu's executing goodwill. I'm going to have to take him off. You are relieved. Didn't I uh, take him off? Thought I did. Oh, he's probably got to come back or something. Yeah, all my best commanders don't have soldiers. These are these three are the best ones. Yoshitaka. Um, I can't think of this guy's name. Sadakiyo. And Shigetomo. These three are the best right now. Besides Toku and which who's right there. And Sen. Those are our big top five. Uh, oh yeah, and Sensaburo. How could I forget Sensaburo? But these three right here don't have they're below 10k. They should really be above 10k already. That's gonna be a problem for a battle this big. It means the heavy hitters aren't going to be around this long. Alright, hold on. Everybody just wait. Just wait. Let's get all our units in place. We should still outnumber them. My Awari provinces are stacked. Like with soldiers, the caps are really, really high. So I should still outnumber him. He's going to have the better quality. What is going on here? Cannot be selected while executing goodwill. He's not executing goodwill. I took him off. I know I did. Oh, he's still with the Uesugi. Okay. My bad. Got him mixed up there. I got to recall him from the Yusugi to deal with the border dispute. You know, I probably could have split my army and sent a force charging this way. But since we can't command all our, all our battles in this game, you know, this is what you have to do. Oh, you guys can wait up here. Alright, just wait. Everybody wait. Let's make sure I got all my forces. This is everything I can get before I trigger this battle. Missed one. Well, 
Actually, if they're all agitated, we might be able to charge through over here. While we're surrounding Osaka Castle. We gotta destroy. It's gonna be ready in 27 days. So we might be able to weaken uh, the castle before we lay siege to it. I really hope that that works. Okay, that's everybody, so... If I lose, all these castles are agitated. Pretty much everything. Where are these guys going? Okay, we can't let them... We can't let them, uh... Take people out of the fight. We want to fight everybody. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, we've got the numbers easily. But they need one more unit on their side. Hang on. Hold on. Mitsunari. Damn it. Why does that extra unit have to be Mitsunari? Uh... All right. Okay. Thirteen against twelve, but we outnumbered them two to one. Look at the numbers: one hundred k to fifty k. Holy shit! They have the quality. They have the quality, but we have the numbers. They've got Mitsunari, they've got Keiji, they've got Nagamasa's in there somewhere, Masanori, Fukushima's in there. They've got the who's who of the Toyotomi, but we just have an endless horde. 100k against 50k. Strong authority, but it's not going to do anything because Osaka's standing there. But if I agitate all this, I'm going to have this guy, I'm going to deploy this castle. And we're going to try to run through. Actually, I'm going to deploy them right now. So I don't forget. I'll split them into two units. Okay, we can, we can take the center. We'll get all the capital territories if we win this fight. It should be a huge map. Hey, what's up, Dan? Yeah, I do get a prompt. I just don't see it sometimes. Like, I always... I, I miss so many of these prompts for alliances. I just... So I just renew them early. It's gotten me into some spots before, so... Okay, so this is the large battle maps. Wow. So, look at the units on the other side. You've got Keiji, Masanori, Mitsunari, Yusai, the Blade Master. One of the Blade Masters, I should say, because he's got two of them. That's a tribe unit. He's not bad, but he's in the tribe unit. And Nagamasa with 11,000. Somehow, for some reason, they've got 11,000 and they're pulling them back. So, we should win because we have superior numbers. Like twice, like way more soldiers than they do. So, we should win this battle. But, I have to win and then still have enough soldiers to siege Osaka Castle. That's the problem. So we might win the battle easily, but uh, we could lose the overall campaign if I don't have enough soldiers to take Osaka after the battle. That's the problem. That's where the... Alright, so let's see how we're going to do this. Mitsunari is going to be in the center here. That's going to be a huge problem because his tactics area of effect. So what we need to do is scatter him with gunfire. Shigetomo's already here with level 6 guns. We'll put Sen there. So he'll have to take two volleys. Where else can we break with guns? Nobukatsu's there with his daughter, Nobukatsa. 
That's S A instead of S U. Let's put Sansa Burrow in the front. This guy's the only guy who can use cavalry in my force, Yasuharu. Level four cavalry. Blade Master's there, but we should route them. There's a spot right here that we can exploit. It's only a thousand and a thousand back to back. I think you'll be able to uh, breach it too, because he's got level five muskets and 87 attack. So I think uh, the Blade Master's going to run out of soldiers very quickly. Oh, Toku. With, Toku's got 16k and she's just going to sit back there? I don't think so. Toku's the Black Widow of our run. She's personally killed more than 10 samurai since I started this run. So she's got a collection of... Uh, she's got a trophy set of trophies on her uh, wall at home of samurais. Kind of gruesome. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're ready to start this thing. What's up, Desert? What's up, Arcade? Arcade, this is an easy battle. Um, definitely. But... There's two things. We want to maximize casualties, kill officers, capture officers, and we still have to besiege Osaka Castle that has 23k. So, you can't really, like, there's no room to, like, rest on our laurels because after we win the battle, we still have to have enough troops left to take the castle. This is a skirmish. Like, this force right here, this Toyotomi force, their job is to just bloody us enough that we can't take the castle. That's what I need to prevent. I have to keep casualties low so I can take the, uh, so I can take Osaka. If I lose too many troops, I won't be able to take Osaka. Nobukatsu will lead for a split second and then his daughter will take over, of course. Let's put it on three for a second. Muskets. Come on, muskets. Let's get those numbers low. Blade Master's already done. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I can cut him off. Capture him, hopefully. I don't know where to send this guy. I guess up here towards uh, Toku. She's already tired from the pincer, from the double pincer. Mitsunari's probably going to hit us pretty hard because of his uh, righteous command. You gotta figure that these guys are gonna break early because it's Hideyori, it's not Hideyoshi. So there's gotta be a, a penalty to all the loyalty of these forces. Like even Mitsunari's loyalty has dropped down to like 14 or 15, where it was at 20. So I'm assuming that most of these guys are just gonna break very, very early. Wait, wait. I'm gonna let Keiji take that so we can uh, trap him. So 
somebody got killed. All right. Blade Master's trying to get out of there, but he's surrounded. Capture, one capture, one kill already. Okay, so on the left side, it's kind of a... It's going very well. The center is the only problem because of Mitsunari. He is that good. Even though his leadership stat is pretty low in this game. It's always been kind of mediocre, but in this game, it's very low. We're going to try to surround this guy next. Move up and surround this guy. Just kind of follow the lanes down and then just wrap around, you know? Now we'll cut off Keiji. Already lost 10,000 soldiers. Alright, get her in there. Get Nobukatsu back, let him breathe a little bit. I'm not going to take this Occupy point because I don't want to run away with the map and win by morale. Alright, so we've got this guy surrounded, one unit surrounded, two units that are going to be destroyed. We've got Keiji surrounded. I'm going to get Toku out of there. She's exhausted, and I also don't want her to kill Mitsunari. She has a tendency to just kill people recklessly, regardless of who they are. Capture two people already. Alright, I'm not going to engage Masanori. Masanori's going to rough me up, you know what I mean? Too much, so... We're gonna give ground here. Okay, he's running, so we don't have to give ground. Never mind. So the best commanders, Yusai, Nagamasa, and Masanori. I'm not going to engage any of them. I'm just going to take the Occupy points and win the map so that I can have as many troops as possible left to besiege Osaka Castle. If I fight these three, we're going to lose a lot of soldiers. So I'm just going to avoid them. All right, we've lost 20,000. 20,000 soldiers already gone. Toyotomi have lost the same. Oh, this guy's got confused. I don't know if we can take Osaka. I, I'm thinking about it more and more, and I'm like, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, Nagamasa is joining the fight. We need to occupy these points and win the fight already. Like, end this battle. 
Don't want to engage Nagamasa. Two kills. Two kills, two captures. Now we just need to win the map. And then we can besiege Osaka. Or try to. Try to besiege Osaka Castle. I gotta keep avoiding Masanori. Oh man, he's changing... Sansaburo. He's looking for Sansaburo. We're ducking him. He's like an after-school bully. You know what I mean? We gotta take a... We gotta take an alternate route home to avoid him. The bully's looking for us and we gotta find another way home. We're trying to duck behind the alleys, take a shortcut. Nagamasa's here. Can we win this? Okay, we just gotta get this point. Gotta end the battle. Is that good? Alright, great. Love that pop-in. PlayStation 4 pop-in. What's up, Ikari? Yeah, so we just, uh, we just surrounded Osaka. This is the, uh, preliminary battle. The penultimate battle, if you will. I tried to end it early. I did end it early. So that I could save my soldiers for Osaka. You'll see in a second. Okay, you guys will feel differently after I take the castle. Large authority trigger, but I don't know that it's going to do anything. Nobukatsu! Hey, maybe we can get an alliance. Maybe I can get an alliance done. The Toyotomi have fortified Osaka Castle. Alright, so we've cleared... We've cleared their army out of the way. Do we have enough left to take the castle? That's the question. Uh, I need you guys to swing around because you're not you're not close enough. You got to swing around here this way. Um, let's send somebody to talk to the Mori. Mori might be able to help me dismantle them. Oh, this again. Nobody's available. Nobukatsu, where was she? Over here? Everything's built anyway. Okay, now I have a destroy. It's going to be ready in 18 days. This destroy could be crucial. This destroy could be like... Um, Early on in my Mazayuki run, Yukimura had a really crucial destroy in Shinano for me that made it possible for me to take a castle. It, st it kind of started, uh, it jump started us winning that siege. It was all thanks to Yukimura's destroy, so that's, that's what this guy is going to do. Kind of the same thing. He might be able to set us up. Alright, surround the castle. Everybody's still got a good amount of soldiers. A very good amount of soldiers. I was a little worried about somebody uh, having, you know, getting really mauled in that battle. That's why we didn't engage any of the Toyotomi's best commanders. We, I didn't want anybody to get mauled to death and then not have anything left to, for the siege. Alright, we're gonna surround Osaka.
We have just enough to get four units on each side. I hope this destroy works. I hope this destroy really, I really hope it works. I don't like my chances. I really don't. And if I don't take this, guys, if I don't take Osaka, all this is agitated. All these castles are rendered uh, useless. So it's a big gamble. You guys have a road there, right? You have to have a road there. Okay, yeah. Alright, surrounded on all sides. Nobukatsu's the one in the back. Nobukatsu's gonna sit on the highest point and watch his army go to work. Alright, we're waiting for the destroy. It's gonna be ready in five days. What's up, uh, Mikolai? You don't think the castle's falling, Ikari? Let's check the destroy. Let's wait. Let's see what happens with the destroy. Oh, man. Look at that damage. 3,500. I love it. I love it. You understand that I marched out. I did the destroy command first. Then I marched out my forces. All right? Without knowing what was going to happen. Just assuming. Hey, it, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. You'd love this. I'd love to see it. I, re I really wish I could fix this border dispute, though, right now. It's kind of bothering me. Okay, so... We literally have them outnumbered 4-1. to one, Thanks to fighting a really nice battle where I didn't get completely destroyed. I was really worried that I was going to get wrecked in that first battle. Just a cab here holding on. All right. We have enough soldiers. Oh, yeah. We're going to end the Toyo told me right here. What is this? Is this... What are we in? Spring? I, I, I kind of count May towards summer, right? May sort of summer. I'm going to say the Summer Siege of Osaka. 1601. The Summer Siege of Osaka. Yeah, Yeyasu is insanely overpowered. I had I did a run on the channel. My very first run was a Ujizane Imagawa run, uh, Mikolai, and um, one of the themes of that run was Ieyasu, uh hosing me again and again and again. Every time I thought I had the upper hand against Ieyasu, he would just display how overpowered he was, and I would get set back. It was brutal. Not a fan of the Tokugawa. <laughs> Not a fan at all. They're just uh, stupidly overpowered. Alright. We gotta think this out. Potentially, this is all, all the stuff. All the territory that I've gained could be undone if I lose this battle, so. Now, it's at half health, but half health for Osaka is still 3,000 HP. So don't let that fool you. That's still a lot for this castle. I don't see any watchtowers, batteries. Okay, there's an arrow tower right here. And this guy's stats are insane. I think we're going to avoid the arrow tower. Let's do that first. That guy's got speedy. 
We can send one guy up north, exactly one. Okay. So we're gonna avoid the tower in the south. But if we're gonna avoid this tower, that means we need to break something somewhere else quickly. Right here. Perfect. We'll break this. I'm gonna send this guy towards the gate. I should have enough soldiers to where they can't defend every point, you know? We should have enough units that they just, they can't be everywhere at once. If we attack every gate, they shouldn't be able to defend them all. This is a problem. Does anybody have Speedy on this side? This guy does. Okay, so you're going to go around because you have Speedy. You also have Speedy. Okay, you're both going to go around. Sen's going to head straight down. Okay. Two straight down towards this, uh, what is this called anyway? Why can't I see the name? Oh, this is the guy with the cool portrait. He's got like a water colored portrait. I don't know what this is, but we're going to head two people straight down here. We're going to have our speedy officers flank around. We're going to avoid the arrow tower in the south. It's the only arrow tower that I see. So we're going to avoid the shit out of that. And then in the west, in the northwest. I don't like how it looks here, man. This doesn't look good to me. We have to take them out, though. Yeah, morale's good. Supplies actually held up. Supplies held up for once. I don't know what Nobukata can do either. Her stats are very, very low. Like, really low. I think I'm going to send her this way. That leaves these three. Who's weaker? Speedy and Cheer. Cheer's attack, right? Oh, he's got speedy. The other guy's got cheer. Look at their attack power. 200 attack. We have to break these camps. <laughs> so we're going to... Between these two, I'm going to go for the southern spot. No, actually... I can hit from two directions here. I can hit this guy from two spots if I take the time to take this barricade out, but it's too far. This is immediate pressure. Immediate pressure here. I need two spots to put immediate pressure. Because if one doesn't work, if I can't break one spot, then I can break the other. I can't gamble at all on attacking one spot at a time. We have to put pressure on two. So that means one of these camps, but not both of these camps, just one. One at a time. I'm gonna go all the way around, that's the problem. This guy's got speedy though. So does, uh, does he? No, he doesn't have speedy. It's a real puzzle. It's a real puzzle and, uh, the stakes are high. Jeer, enemy defenses decrease. He does have muskets. Does everybody have muskets over here? They should. We're doing our best to emulate our late father, Nobunaga. And finally incorporate muskets, but they're nowhere near as effective. I don't know, should we try to send somebody around to hit this guy? Or should we just go one-on-one -on -one here? I think go around, I think we could do it. Speedy. 
flank around. Sentoku in first. While he gets around with Nobukata. And then we'll have Shigetomo in the back. Or maybe even Shigetomo first. He's got level 6 muskets. Alright, we'll, we'll keep it like this. So he's going to wrap around. Come crash down here. We'll create a pincer here. Avoid the watchtower down here. It's not... The range is pretty small. So we'll avoid it. Just work our way up towards the gate over here. Two speedy people flanking around this way. And the other two crashing straight down. Sounds good. Yeah, this is large authority loss, yeah. Yeah, we're just... I can't... Uh, like you said, the timer is the biggest issue. That's why I need to break, like, two things at least. I can't just attack the walls because I'll run out of time. I need to actually break things to get more time. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's put it, put it in all on the line here. Alright, Toku's going to hit him first. Then we're going to rotate, actually. So I'm going to ignore this guy. I'm going to ignore this. We're going to work on this guy here. Because I can eventually get a pincer. Once I get around, I can get a pincer here. damage was too great. The damage that Toku was taking, 190 a pop, that was insane. Her leadership, I mean at least uh, Shigetomo's leadership is a little bit higher. Pincer this guy, have him surrounded on three sides. Um, over here, this is just not looking good, but there's nothing I can do about it. They have uh, war drums stacked on top of each other like crazy. So I'm just going to lose a lot of soldiers. Like, there's nothing to be done there. I'm going to try to get Nobukata to put pressure on the gate. Because we still have a lot of units. Alright, let's go around. I guess I send this guy too far out, actually. Um, I'm gonna put him right here. Okay, we're breaking that. We're getting ready for a pincer over here. He's breaking this to get her set up so that she doesn't have to break it. She can just join in. Back across. Straight down. We're going to hit this guy from four spots. Four different spots. We should be able to wipe him out. Can't imagine him holding out. She's going to sneak towards the northern gate. 
maybe draw out Hideyori. It, it's our daughter, so her loyalty is at 20, so she's not going to break. So this makes her a perfect person to just draw attention away. Hiding for the camp. Swap these two out. Where's he going? I'm a little nervous about these guys. 4,000 each. I'm not sure what how high their loyalty is. Alright. Break the camp. Yep, that's drawing Hideyori away. Pincer, perfect. This castle's going down, I'm telling you. Castle's going down. It's okay, Asu, two tries. It's gonna take Nobukatsu just one try to fell Osaka. They can't even get in. Can't even get in through the southern gate anymore. It's already... We just need to get some breaks to get enough time. That's all we need. We need to get a break. This guy's surrounded on four sides. That's crazy. There's our break right here. This will give us enough time to take the Citadel, I think. Just that one. It's hopeless, Hideyori. It is hopeless. There it is. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nowhere to go. Pick out a nice plot. Pick out a nice hole to crawl into. Is the gate broken? Nobukatsu is going to be the first one through the breach. Make way. Make way for the true Oda successor. Nobukatsu leading the charge in against Hideyori. Awesome. Oh, he's surrounded by Oda. Hideyori's surrounded by Oda. He's got Toku's over here. And Nobukatsu's in the northern gate. That's fitting. We don't even need to address that guy. Are we going to break this? Um, that's the arrow towers over there. Nobukatsu and Hideyori. wonder what kind of conversation, what kind of insults they're shouting at each other right now. Your dad's an asshole. No, your dad's an asshole. You're an underachiever. No, you're an underachiever. Oh, 
block the way. Don't let this guy get there. Everybody just keep the reinforcements out of the way so that Nobukatsu and Hideyori have, can have a talk. Man to man. Just picture the scene in the movie. It, all our forces are just, you know, turning away their reinforcements so that Nobukatsu and Hideyori can have their epic duel. Their epic uh, episode three, Obi-Wan Anakin duel. Fantastic. All right, here comes the daughter. Nobukatsa to the rescue. Coming to help out her old man. Toku, can you get out of this pincer? She can't get out. Nobukatsu and Hideyori fighting it out for the right to succeed the legacy of, of uh, Nobunaga fantastic I had no idea that this would work I don't know if I've mentioned that already just had to sometimes you gotta gamble gotta roll the dice Citadel's almost fallen Whoo, that's it. It's over. It's over. Lay down your weapons, Hideyori. Your soldiers are unwilling to continue. They're unwilling to continue the fight. <laughs> Come on, that was that was excellent. The Siege of Osaka. Nobu the Siege of Osaka ends with Nobukatsu and Hideyori fighting it out amidst the burning castle with, with the ring of soldiers from both sides fighting outside of it. You know, and in inside of it, it's Nobukatsu and Hideyori squaring off. Awesome. That was fantastic. That was awesome. Now we can plunder Osaka and run rampant throughout the Toyotomi territories. That's a death blow. Come on, that's it. Wow, even this clan's hearing from us all the way up here. Northeastern Japan. I just like the idea of Hideyori... Uh, and um, Nobukatsu just talking shit to each other. Each one accuses the other of just being shit, <laughs> you know? Oh, 25k, all right, let's go shopping. Hey, let's go shopping. Let's hand out some awards to the winners of the Osaka campaign. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have to deal with Yukimura. I didn't have to deal with any of their talent. I avoided all of their talent in the the battle to scatter their armies that were deployed there. We fought that large battle before, and that's why I went for the camps for the morale victory to get all their commanders away. If they had good commanders, this would have been different. Is Hideyori like 5 right now? That adds a whole new dimension to it. Nomokatsu just pushing around the kids, I guess. Look at all that. Up until this point, I've had an average of 2 officers per castle, just like my Mazayuki run. We have 53 castles in this game, in this run, and... Now we have 25 castles and we have 50 officers.
So uh, I've got castles that are completely empty. Now we'll finally get some. Let's make sure there's nobody here that I want to uh, personally execute. We're looking for any survivors of the Niwa clan, the Niwa traders, the Maida traders. Nope, I don't see anybody. Okay. How many officers did we get? 25 people were unable to be employed. God. Oh, this... This guy's got a mischievous look about him. We can give him a castle. Let's give him one of these empty ones up here. Oh, we got castles. Don't worry about that. We got plenty of empty castles. I should just execute all these people, but... <coughs> I don't know whose family I'd be upsetting. You may all go. Go and tell the, go and tell Hideyori that it's not too late to submit. Tell the story of Osaka. Tell them how Nobukatsu beat up your five-year-old liege lord. Just put his hand on his head. Just put his, he, he just Nobukatsu just put his hand on Hideyori's head. And Hideyori just tried to windmill punch him. You know, like a little kid. Have you ever seen like a really tall guy? Like a six foot guy try to fight a five foot guy? The reach? That's what he did to him. Yeah, it wasn't really a fight. He just kind of sat him down. He waited for Hideyori to get tuckered out and then he, he went to take a nap, you know. He let the little guy tucker himself out. Dude, that's it. They're done. They're done. We need to, we need to just run over all this territory and go take out, uh, go deal with Ieyasu. There's one last contender, Mr. Tokugawa himself. That's who we have to deal with next. The spring, is it spring? No, it's more summer. The summer siege of Osaka, 15, 1601. Nobukatsu versus Hideyori, the fight of the century. Where were you? Where were you when Nobukatsu gave Hideyori a spanking in his own castle? Your dad's mean. No, your dad's mean. Well, you're an underachiever. No. You're an underachiever. I'm telling you, the brilliant conversations those two could have had. Alright, let's go take as much territory as we can. We're going to kick them while, we're, while they're down. It's not enough that we beat them down. You know what I mean? We got we to gotta kick them now. Got to get as much damage as we can. Can I buy some treasures? How expensive is treasure right now? Can I not buy cheaper stuff? This shit's all so expensive. I hate that, like, when you jump up a tier, you can't... You can't buy lower tier anymore. I'd like to be able to hand out, like, some stuff, you know? Awards and all that. Okay, let's let's hand out some commendations to our uh, to Nobukatsu's beautiful wife, Sen. First commendation, of course, it's got to go to the wife. Happy wife, happy life, right? That's what they say. Got to give it to the missus first. She get Tomo the brave, of course, for his key role in taking the west side of that battle. Who else can we hand out something to? Nobukatsa, she did a great job just taking up space in the north. It's kind of a problem. You wouldn't think that taking up space would be a problem. It's a problem sometimes. She did that well. Oh, I don't know who that is. Uh, you weren't there. You weren't there. Okay, I don't know anybody else who was there. I don't know if any of you guys were there. Gonna have to look at the game tape. 
He was there. I remember that grin anywhere. That guy had that grin that... He has that grin that says this is stupid. <laughs> this is dumb. Why is our liege lord beating beating up a five-year-old? This is stupid. That's that's what that guy's grin is. Yeah, we got like five castles. Yeah, Kira, this run's really turned around. I mean, you you remember, if you guys have been watching this run since the beginning, you remember that we lost all of this. We were down to like our last six castles in Awari, last five castles. We went north. We got driven back twice. We we lost the north one time to treachery. Um, at one point, it was looking like I might have to migrate north and seek protection from the Uesugi. And look at it. Look at us now, bro. Look at us now. I should relocate to Osaka. I really should. Let's see how much would it cost. Oh, we're not. We got to return the base and all that. No, let's let's run through these territories first. Let's run through these territories. Let's see who we can appoint. I kind of wish I could do auto for a point at this right now because um, when you take out one of these large forces like that, you get like 60 officers all at once. It kind of becomes a whole... We can't relocate either. Okay, they're just going to have to stay empty until we're done campaigning. Nobody's going back, right? Okay, let me just... Let's just make sure. Okay. What the hell is this guy doing? Six hundred. He's here to pick up survivors. Son, just give him a volley from the shoreline. Drive him off. There you go. Just fire your muskets in the air. Let him know that, that it's too late. They've already lost. So he knows to turn around. Alright, it's going to be a mad scramble for territory now. Trading towns. It's all about money. Especially here. All these Toyotomi territories, I'm just going to build up income because if we're heading east. We need to go deal with uh, Ieyasu. Ieyasu's next. Oh, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, make sure you sub to the channel, man. Make sure you sub to the channel. I've got more stuff coming. I've got some ideas. Got some ideas for what to do next. There's a lot on the plate, but you know what I mean? I still have... There's a lot more to do. You know what? Actually, you're up here. That's a stronghold there. Just, yeah, just go this way. Just go that way. Just marching through. Can't stop us. Oh, I forgot about him. Should we go down here? Yeah. Yoshitsugu, where were you? Where was Yoshitsugu? He wasn't at the siege. All their best guys were not there. It's perfect. Yeah, it would be good to have some Toyotomi officers. I don't, but, you know, if I can get them. I am going to need them because we need to deal with the. Uh, we're going to have to deal with the uh, Ieyasu. Ieyasu is probably going to be just as difficult.
Nobukatsu's by himself over here. That's fine. Whoa! Here come the Mori. The Mori... The Mori are gonna descend on the Toyotomi like a flock of crows. Just picking through. They're just gonna pick... Pick apart all the corpses. We're working on them with an alliance, right? Okay. Hopefully we don't have to clash with each other so I can... Leave the West to them. Leave the Shimazu to them. And go deal with the uh, Tokugawa. Yeah, scheming, trying to get a foothold over here. Can't trust this guy. Alright, come on, let's go. Sweep up all these castles. See if anybody will surrender to us. What a great siege, man. That siege was awesome. Fantastic. Do you think we could have won it, though, if that destroy would have worked? If it wouldn't have worked, I mean. I feel like it would have been a lot more difficult. Still could have gotten it. But it would have been a lot, uh... Would have been a lot closer. Because I still had the unit advantage. They couldn't defend every point. Uh, like you were saying, Ikari. They just couldn't defend every single point on the map. So I think I still would have gotten it. But it would have been a lot closer. Because it would have taken longer to bust through the gates. What's up, TR? Uh, this is Nobunaga's Ambition Awakening. It's the newest game in the series. It's by uh, Koei. They're the same ones who do uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I don't know if you've played that. I don't think I can appoint people, right? Can we give Dominion to some, some of these attendants? Nope. How many people do we have in our capital? 24 officers. So I have... I gained a third because I had 50 officers. I gained a third of what I had. I'm up, I'm up to 75. From 50 to 75. So let's see how far this army can go. How many territories can we suppress before we have to turn back? The Mori are carving them up. I wish I had more people I could pull up right now, but I don't. Call these tribesmen in. That's everybody. Okay. Yeah, the Mazuyuki run is, is going pretty well, Kira. It's, uh... The only thing is that Mazuyuki caught ill in the latest video. So, his time is short. I'm probably going to do a poll on who we should pick as a, as a successor. Because technically it should be Nobuyuki. Nobuyuki is a year older than Yukimura. So I'm going to do a poll to see what, what you guys want to do as a, as a successor. Who should run the Takeda? But yeah, that run's going pretty great. We're heading for a showdown in, towards the uh, Toyotomi in that as well. Oh, 
Oh, the Blade Master's heading towards us. That's not good. We got a Blade Master, and here I am by myself. That's not good. Can I get a little help here? Nobukatsu meets his end at the hand of a stray blade master on the road. After winning his biggest battle, he suffers. He commits the biggest blunder ever, being caught by himself. He gets killed. Everyone's going to pick Yukimura? I don't know. I've got some other people I'm going to put in there. Yukimura is probably the most efficient choice, but... How much damage is he going to do to me if I just fight him on the map? Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Shit. I'm just going to fight him on the map. I don't really... These castles are not falling because we are not... Honestly, we're not a very good force, so... If we had a good force, we would have been steamrolling through these castles already, but we don't, so... Everything takes time, which means our enemies can build up, which is annoying. Do supply station. I don't know who I'm going to give that castle to while I'm working in Osaka, but we'll figure something out. Right, get this Blade Master out of here. Alright, where were we? Come on, let's take some castles here, fellas. So I haven't taken anything. Yoshitsugu is making a stand. Now you make a stand, Yoshitsugu. You should have made a stand at Osaka. Just let him go. Let's go on to the next one. Danamon. Danamon's got to go back, but everyone else can keep pushing. Oh, but go the other way, man. Go the other way. Go this way. Alright. Danamon's from all the way over in Gifu. I think he's over in Gifu Castle, right? Oh no, he's over here now. He's not in Gifu, he's over here. Wow, Osaka's got a cap of 20,000 soldiers. 20,000 soldiers. A deputy's on the way. Okay. I'll go deal with the deputy. We'll leave the tribe unit. Let the tribe unit keep occupying that spot. We got Saiso? Oh. Oh. Yes. Saiso Kani. My favorite trait in the game, Decapitator. I think I've got to put him over here. 
I've got to put him over here against Ieyasu. That's where we're heading next. I'm going to give him this castle. Um... give him that 16 is that enough to get no it's not all right steamrolling osaka has fallen now we are dealing with the fallout and there's a lot of it Okay, let's see. Let's recall. Some of them have to recall already. As the army gets smaller, it's like... As we start to send units back... All our attack points have to converge into, like, one. You know what I mean? Toyotomi are falling fast. Employ, sure. Let's bolster our officer corps as much as possible. Battle ready. Oh, damn it. Are we winning this here? Yeah, yeah, give him whatever. Whatever he wants. Landholder, yep. You got it. Oh, yeah, we got to watch the Mori. That's right. I'm going to try to get an alliance done with the Mori so that, like I said, I can leave the west to them and then focus on the last, uh, the last contender, really, for Nobunaga's, uh, To be the successor to Nobunaga is really Ieyasu, who seems to be beating down the Hojo right now. Wow, Ieyasu's about to carry out his own siege of Odawara. It's almost like he doesn't want to be shown up. We got to make sure we're allied with the Uesugi. Uesugi are going to play a key in fighting Ieyasu. Okay, is there anybody we can... No? Just, just get it done. Where are the Mori? Oh, they're moving very slowly. They're not taking very, very much territory. Look how far his reach goes. All the way out to here. He's about to take this castle. Take this castle. Maybe we can take two more before we have to turn around. Maybe we can take two more castles and then we'll have to turn around and get the next wave ready. Okay. 
Blockade, let's just uh storm. What are we blockading for? We're almost out of supplies. Painting the map blue one castle at a time. She can't get in there. Let's just send her home. Yeah, it'd be nice if the Chosokabe could do anything, really. They haven't done much at all. I mean, they've survived, actually. I shouldn't say that. They've survived. This is all Toya told me. This is all Toya told me like two minutes ago. It's all gone. Mori have taken it. And the Tokugawa. This is it. This is all that's left. That's it. Crazy. 1584 Nobukatsu Oda. If you're looking for something that's, you know, a little bit challenging and a lot of fun, I recommend it. Better than his 1582 start because the 1582 start, you have all of the officers of the Oda pretty much. You know, when Nobunaga dies and you have a huge domain, that's, that's more manageable. His 1584 start is very uh, desperate at the beginning, so... Get this castle, come on. Extract. Extract two. We'll take them. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch them so they don't take the last castle. I don't want the Mori to steal the all the Toyotomi guys from me. That would be insane. All right. I don't know why this guy's so upset, but all right. People seem to be fleeing from the declining Toyotomi clan. You don't say. Well, Nobukatsu did give Hideyori uh, a swirly in Osaka, so... I'm not sure I could fight for a lord that allows himself to be swirlied. Embarrassing. Wow, how like the Hosokawa clan to betray when things don't look up, huh? Just like the Hosokawa clan to betray when things are not looking up. Just as his father did to Mitsuhide. You know, lifelong friends, all of a sudden he's not answering. He ain't picking up. Mitsuhide is sending letters. To Yusai, hey, are you going to back up my claim? Yusai is leaving him on red, you know? He's not saying anything back. Here's Tadaoki switching sides. Like father, like son. Three officers. Wow. I should have said no. I should have said no. I might kick out Tadaoki. Don't, I don't like the Hosokawas either. Okay. I might have to leave a standing army here because this castle is battered, beaten down to nothing. I'll leave these guys here. Get everybody out of here. Okay. That siege, the, the siege of Osaka, that was epic. Look at all the territory that I got. The Toyotomi are broken. 
They're done. This is their last legs. Now, after this, it's going to be time to deal with the Tokugawa. Ieyasu, the last one standing in the way to our right to succeed Nobunaga. To Nobukatsu's uh, official title as a successor is going to be Ieyasu. All right, I gotta get. Well, can I beat this guy? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna find out. I'm gonna send somebody else to do it for me. Somebody else can like. You guys go ahead and just keep him busy for a second. I need to get my supplies. Let's speed up the game so that it doesn't take so long to recover. They should just submit. Can they submit? Is their prestige too high? 1500 prestige. Yeah, they're never going to submit. It's funny how Hideyori inherits his, his father's uh, prestige, but uh, it's not like that for everybody in this game. Look at our territory. We're looking like our uh, Nobunaga. We're looking like our father here. Nobukatsu's doing his best to emulate his dad right now with all this territory. We just need to find Yoshiaki. Oh, Yoshiaki's gone. Never mind. I was going to say, we just need to find Yoshiaki and uh, bring the Shogun back. No, the Shogun's gone. We have a shooting gallery here already? I, I already forgot. No. We need to get a shooting gallery. It's essential. We need the gunpowder to make up for our uh, lack of uh, talent. All right, Kira, thanks, thanks for stopping by, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Request civil servants. Oh, no, I'm not sending that guy over there. He didn't have an obligation, that's true, but he could have said something. Could have, he could have told Mitsuhide, are you batshit crazy? Are you insane? Alright, make way for the true heir, Nobukatsu. Make way, clear the way, Nobukatsu. A grand ceremony, a grand march is made, a parade, if you will, as Nobukatsu enters Osaka Castle, the victor. With Sen by his side, of course. And then following close behind them is uh, Toku and Nobukatsu, his daughter. Not by Sen. Actually, we don't know. We don't know who Nobukatsu's mother is, but, you know, we don't talk about that. Alright, do we have any other... Do we have anybody else who is in that siege that needs a commendation? Nope. Wait, yes, he was. That guy was. He just joined, but yeah. He was there. Mm, I don't know. Don't remember. Don't remember, sorry. Alright, I think that's it. The hero of Awari, Nobukatsu. Nobukatsu. Get my A's and U's mixed up. Okay, let's distribute land. Kind of wish there was an auto button when you have this many people. Like when you have this many officers, you can kind of just... You should be able to just auto and then just look it over and tweak a few things here and there. Kind of like the province thing. Really tempted to fire Tadoki, but I'm not going to.
Okay, let's uh let's appoint some people. We have access to a forge town now, right here. If you guys didn't see my building muskets video, there's a forge town here and there is a forge town in Saika, which gives you um plus three to your muskets can really jumpstart. Jumpstart your musket army. You know, depending on the situation and all that, blah blah blah. But the point is that they're here and here. So they can be pretty important. Can't appoint anybody to the castle. So I'm gonna have to just put them under. Where's Tadaoki? There he is. Yeah, that's kind of what happened with the Sanada. That's why Nobuyuki went with the uh, Tokugawa to uh, preserve the family. That is the thing. I mean, you got to consider if you if you make the wrong move, it's not just you. It's potentially your whole family that can pay for it. A lot of mediocrity, but mediocrity is pretty much the motto of this force. Doing a little with next to nothing, pretty much. I can't even find a relevant trait sometimes. This is crazy. A sea of mediocrity. This is the Nobu Katsu experience. It's good stuff. Alright, I think we're full. Alright, good. We have a shooting gallery. Gunnery towers. We can take those down. We can take down those gunnery towers. I don't think we'll be needing those. I don't think we're in any danger of a attack from the Toyotomi anytime soon. Alright, let's see how the Moria are doing over here. Yep. Wiping out everybody. Toyotomi's west western side is falling apart. There you go. You can have this castle right on the front lines. I will give you the opportunity to prove yourself. Kobayakawa? Yeah, he's pretty... Uh, He's the one who gave his word, right? And then he just went back on it, like literally during the battle. Am I thinking of the right guy? All right, let's check in on the Tokugawa over here. They were not able to take Odawara Castle. Odawara Castle barely survived. I missed the siege. They barely survived. Hojo are in trouble. Am I going to be able to make it in time to save the Hojo clan? Yeah, I know that, but you're you're staying there to guard in case there's a counterattack. You see, because all these castles are getting stacked again. Look at the troops. The troops are already going up because the caps are so high. We're so late in the run. That even a couple of castles will have a, a lot of soldiers. Race. 
the labor. All right. All right, we need to gather our forces one last time. Looks like there's going to be a siege in Himeji. I think that'll be our target. We might be able to get everything if we take out Himeji Castle. Once more, we'll gather our forces. Let me see if I can get a policy to increase castle damage. Uh, nope. Yes, Western Trade Level 2. Let's do that. So the Western Trade and the Temple Donations, they both have, have this um overlapping theme of increasing your damage against equipment during sieges. Which doesn't sound... Maybe it doesn't sound crazy, but it's actually very useful to get that extra damage. Because when you start a siege, like you guys saw earlier, the main thing is getting your first break. That's the hardest part, is getting your first break as the attacker. If you don't get your first break like at a good time, you can pretty much lose the siege. Damn, we're gonna fight one more siege, all right. Should be fun. We're back to hostile with the Mori. Go figure. Hmm, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Possible. Okay. What about rays? Same thing. Yeah, it's the same check, right? Probably checks for exactly the same thing. All right. Let's uh. So yeah, in my Mazuyuki run, I pretty much conquered most of Kanto. We're finishing up the uh, western part. Of Kanto and getting Tokai and then we're getting ready to face off against the Toyotomi and that that's a Sekigahara start date as uh, Mazayuki Sanada so if you guys haven't checked that out I highly recommend checking that out there's some pretty uh, there's some pretty crazy moments in that run as well a lot of ridiculousness has happened in that But uh, I'm getting ready to replace Mazuyuki. Well, not replace Mazuyuki. I don't want to replace Mazuyuki, but he's getting up there in age. I think his time is uh, running out. So we're going to have to decide if we're going to have Yukimura take over or Nobuyuki or even one of uh, their sons. I think both Yukimura and Nobuyuki, their children have joined in the game. So we could have this, the... Mazuyuki, one of their grandkids, take over. And let the Sanada bros do what they do best. Just lead armies. Instead of being daimyos. Tom Uh, Let's do supply station. We're going to be passing through here. We're going to be passing through this road. And we're going to be passing through this one as well. Lacking two labor. Damn it. I want to build some supply stations so while we're marching our grand army all the way up to Himeji for the siege, hopefully our supplies hold out. Nagayoshi Ikeda. He's pretty good. He has interfered. Damn it. I hate when you see an officer with good stats and they have what is essentially a blank tactic in this game. The worst tactic in the game. I don't know what Koei was thinking when they made it. I don't know who the guy... What the developer was smoking. When he when he thought that interfere would be a good thing to add to the game. It's just... Trolling. It's just trolling. It's the best thing I can think of. Alright. Uesugi. Can't renew it yet? Alright. 
Maybe doing a marriage alliance with the Yasugi. That might be something to do. Yasugi have been... Uh, I've been pretty cool with them the whole playthrough, so... Need to do an Uyasugi run soon. I don't know when, but... That's definitely something I want to do. It's just a matter of picking the date and all that. I'm trying to figure out when. Now you tell me. Yukimura or a mean vote for Ujizani. I just don't know how much longer Ujizani is going to survive. I think, I think Ujizani is like 70... 70 something. He's 72 or 74. He's up there. He might follow Mazuyuki. Come on, Tadoka. You want us to bring over somebody else from your clan? But you can't even get your job done right. Your brother. You want us to get your brother over here, or what? Gotta carry out that destroy. Just, just stay there. You don't have to remind me that you're there. That's what a standing army is. Let's do double shooting gallery. Your shooting galleries and uh, stables do stack in case uh, anybody doesn't know you can stack them It's almost never viable early game because you only have a handful of castles and you need one of these huge castles to be able to do it So like Osaka, Nijo, Azuki castle, you need a big castle to be able to stack them comfortably but you can't do it just to double up on the effect from your policies. So it's a nice way to get, um, in my case, to get gunnery up to a good level when I don't really have anybody who can use gunnery well. You know what I mean? It's a nice way around it to get decent musket power. It's to just pick a, pick a large castle and stack it. Are his castles better developed than mine? I feel like they are. That's 59. That's capped at 78. Okay, let's put somebody here. That's a no-brainer. Okay. Put somebody uh who we put here to take his spot this guy's not bad do we have bodyguard formation probably a stupid question we don't yeah i had a feeling i didn't have it i went 12 years without getting bodyguard formation That's insane, but there was no use for it because we never had any officers. <laughs> we had no officers to get honor from it, really. Now we do. Where are we at with the Mori? 42 trust. We're going up by a single point. Let's petition the court for a title. Oh, he's a lord. Does it have to be a lord? Yeah, go talk to the court. Who is the court, anyway? There's no shogun. Right? It's kind of weird. Yeah, it would give you insane damage, but yeah, it would be a late game thing. Okay, 
Okay, this second siege might be tougher than the first one because the Toyotomi's best guys are not away on campaign. So I'm going to probably have to beat a much better army this time to surround the uh, Himeji. We can expect the uh, Kanbei. What else can we expect? Matabe is pretty good. Yoshitsugu. Hidie and Masanori. So we can expect a much better army this time. Oh, and Sakon with 10k. Much better army is going to be waiting for me when I get here. Should still win, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying it's not going to be quite as easy. Even though we broke their power. It might be kind of tricky to put them away. I need a good commander over here. I can't just put anybody. There's 13,000 people. What about Sen? Put Sen over here. She's got 20 loyalty. Perfect for the siege. Okay. Trying to get the best people in the best spots. Best people for the best job. Best job for the best people. Am I on three? I'm on three, okay. I feel, I feel like it's taken a while to recover from all this. Oh, shit. Where, where are you going? Oh, you're fighting... Iyasu's fighting the Mori. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can focus the Toyotomi. Let's take each other out. Uh-oh. How many points do we have with the Ayasu? Oh, okay, we're fine. 95. We're fine. Oh, here's the guy. This is the guy I was talking about. His portrait looks awesome. It's like a watercolored... I don't know what the what the right word is for it, but it looks really fucking dope. Okay, trading towns. Let's do it. Trading towns for more policies. Let's do training grounds here. Hojo are done. The Date are also invading. Yeah, you, they can't win. You can't fight a two-front war like that. Tokugawa are going to be the final boss of this one. We're not going to make it in time to help them either. Probably... Upgrade commerce if I haven't already. Let's see if we have any substitutes that can move. A couple of attendants. Father and son. Reinforcements to defend the castle. Against who? The Mori? Wow, they kind of put me in a spot. Um... 
I'm gonna say no. Could be a problem. He also just made us kind of pick between him or the Mori. I chose the Mori. I'm not friends with the Mori. I'm not friends with the Mori, but I'd like to be. If that's possible. But they're fighting the Tokugawa, so... I think we have to march, like, right now. Once our alliance is over, we're going to be facing uh, probably the Tokugawa. They're probably going to invade. I don't know if my supplies are ready. That's the problem. Provisions-wise. Easy Commerce, level 3. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have accepted the uh, the reinforcements, but it would have cost me my trust with the Mori. And I need to get a deal done with the Mori. So that I can focus on Ieyasu next. I just kind of had to pick. He kind of put me in a weird spot there where I had to pick like back him against the Mori and ruin uh, what we had with the Mori. Or don't back him to hopefully get a deal done with the Mori. I might not even be able to get an alliance done with them. I'm hoping that once I get Himeji Castle I can get use that to turn into an alliance, but I don't know for sure. Kind of took a gamble there. We're going to have to start marching also. I think I'm out of time. I can't get him to submit. I wish I could get him to just be a, be a vassal. And then just go deal with Ieyasu right now. Let's see, what are we at with the Mori? 45. Their guard is up because of your questionable deed. They're upset because I didn't join the war against them? Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send Toku up here. Toku up there. We're going to try to take this uh, Masanori out of the equation. And then get ready for the siege of uh, Himeji Castle. Hopefully I can get a covert off against that castle. And we only have four months to do it. Once the truce is up with the Ayasu, he's probably going to attack. Let's make sure we have our alliance with the Uesugi. That one decision has put me in a bad spot. Nobody, nobody's on our side now because of that. Yep, nobody's on our side because of that. Because I refused to help Ieyasu. Even the guy who was being attacked by Ieyasu is upset. That's not good.
All right, let's go back. You guys can go back already. Yeah, but they're upset because I didn't back my ally in, in beating them up. That's weird. Um, Code of the Priest, I haven't noticed it. I gave up on it early in the run and I never came back to it because I couldn't afford it. But I'm going to try it again in the future. Well, I'm going to retry it. I'm going to try to get it to level 2 and see if there's a difference. But I didn't notice it early on in the run. I didn't notice any difference in XP gain. So my suspicion is that it's bugged. That's my suspicion. That it does not work as intended. Or growth rates are really, really slow in this game. Like very, very low. It's got to be one or the other. But I didn't notice any growth rates at all. So I think it's bugged. I don't think it works my guess I mean my borders are pretty stacked I can't see him invading anywhere maybe here but he, his everyone's tied up over here even though we're not we're, we're gonna be at war I think this is the perfect time to try to Put away the Toyotomi. I mean, I have to. I really was not expecting um, everybody to be upset. A bit dramatic, in my opinion. Overly dramatic. Okay, so we'll try to divide their forces here, and everyone else will head west towards Himeji Castle. It's a huge group of soldiers, 15,000. I'm gonna send her up through the north. Should I take this castle here? I could probably sweep it up pretty quickly. But then I'd have to defend it against whoever's here. We'll leave it. We'll bypass that island. I'm going to have her defense base up. Because I don't know if Ieyasu is going to try to attack us. This would be the only way through. They'd come up through the south southern road right here, so... I'll put this in the front. What's this do? Soldier restoration? Stamina restored. Switch these up. Alright, that's good. Alright. Hopefully putting down the Toyotomi. I don't have any money. I'm just going to wait. Need more cash. Me. 
Can he ask to invade me? Like, yeah, he's got he's got enough soldiers. He can definitely try. Man, the Hojo are just crumbling. Yusugi are still upset. Does anybody know if this falls off, that penalty for refusing reinforcements? Does that fall off eventually, or do they just stay upset until, uh... Until diplomacy is just gone. Like, until the alliance is just gone. Team with the Hojo? Only Seppuku will wash away the shame. Hideyori's? Hideyori uh, committing Seppuku? Hideyori associate, perhaps? Not us. Surely you don't mean us. I think it's going to be too late to save the Hojo, Daniel. I think it's going to be too late. I was hoping to uh, quickly take them out. And then turn back and start taking away, take away the focus. So Ieyasu just can't focus down the Hojo clan. But it's taking too long. Hopefully this will help things. Just with us wiping out these guys. Great. There goes the bit of cash I was trying to save away. Oh man. How many of these am I going to get? Alright, we're out of money. Um, I can sell a little bit of supplies, that's about it. A lot of fires to put out. Okay. Ninja Palace. The Gathering of the Oda Legions. Wow, three more things. I think I got... How many things did I get hit with? Eight or nine different problems at once. There we go. We've got him trapped. He's got tactics, right? I think so. Okay. 3,000 Danamons ready. have to wait till the end of the month. Hope that I don't get rebellions all over the place. Alright, you guys can return. Empty castles. Still have plenty of empty castles here. Kind of annoying. 
Alright, let's get Nobukatsu out here. Twelve thousand and another eight thousand. Perfect. They're twelve years past their expiration date. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I was kind of thinking of doing a uh, 1591 Hojo run. Since it seems to be their toughest start is that date. But I still don't think it would be that hard, you know? Okay, let's deal with these landslides. Oh, they're falling back to Himeji. I wonder if we can just ignore Miki Castle. We probably can. I'm not bringing him, his loyalty is too low. Only got 2,000 soldiers. He's not going to fight in the siege for very long. Sakon's busy over here, which is great. I need to point, point a lord here. Somebody. Anybody who can send the garrison out. All terrible. Guess that guy. And this guy. As long as we beat Sakon down. We need to try to destroy uh, the castle, though. I'm going to have to sell that weapon I bought. We'll try to destroy command. Oh, I can't. I can't because it's too far. Cannot select the castle that is not adjacent. So we'll have to take this castle first, then. How many people are there? 15, 4,500. Alright. Well, where are you guys going? Just go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Capture that spot. Truce is going to be over pretty soon. Last 12 days with the with the Ayasu. Okay, we're fine now with... Uh... Oh, we might be able... No, they're still untrusting. At least the Uesugi... At least the Uesugi are, are back on our side. We send anybody else up here to keep him busy. You know what? Tadaoki. Let's send him. Alright, you, you go ahead. You guys go around. Canbay surrendered.
I'm not gonna. Do I have to authorize the lease? Is that? Can we just accept the surrender? We can, right? Okay, because I don't want him stuck over here. Or we can give him the castle for a couple. Let's give him the castle. It's fine. Awesome. If he would have held on, it could have stopped the siege from working. But he surrendered, and that's that's gonna save us time. Now we're adjacent to the castle, we should be able to trigger a destroy, or at least take a chance. Kanbei. Kanbei's first act is gonna be to sabotage his old lord. Seems right. Seems about right. Seems about right for Kanbei to do that. All right, come on, let's surround the castle. How long are we gonna need to do the destroy, though? Oh no, that's too long. That's too long. We don't got ninety days. Ninety days. What's the HP? Like 5,000, right? Five thousand five hundred. Ozaka was down to uh I think it was down to five thousand. Or maybe four thousand, I don't remember. I don't think I can wait for the destroy because of Yeyasu. I don't think I can wait for it. I think time time is not really on our side here. Okay, our truce is over with the Tokugawa. Expect them to invade somewhere at some point. All the fires are getting put out, which is good. Who's here? Sons of Burrow. I completely forgot about Sons of Burrow. Wait for Sons of Burrow and then we'll catch Sakon in a pincer. Move in for the siege. Surrender? All right, guys. Do we take the vassal status or do we siege the city? I'll leave it up to you guys. You know which way you know which way I'm leaning, but we'll, let's leave it. Let's let the let us let the chat decide.
You would not take it. I'm going to get a coffee. I'm going to get a coffee. I'll be right back. Just type in the chat what you guys think. I'll check it out. Okay, would would not no officers i don't know if flattery suggestion would pop off considering clan prestige request his domains and annex later Main thing is that there's nothing for them to do. If I accept the vassal state, if I accept the vassal state, then uh, there's nothing for Hideyori to do. I think if I leave him to fight the Mori on his own, he's gonna be wiped out. I don't think he has the strength. If I make an alliance with the Mori. And there's nothing for him to do. Uh, so I don't know how much of a headache it would be to keep him alive. If I make him a vassal and go fight Ieyasu, can he fight the Mori or is he going to be asking me for troops every three turns? 
I need more troops. I need more troops. I can't fight the Mori. You know what I mean? So then the answer is make an alliance with the Mori, but then what's the point of having him sit around? I mean, he could help me here for like a split second, but then that's gonna that's it. After I take Saika. Uh, I think the more efficient move is just to take the siege, fight the siege battle, get the authority trigger. That'll hopefully I can make an alliance with the Mori, or maybe I can. Um, hold on. Maybe I can just negotiate with the Mori for a truce or something. Give them uh, some of the Toyotomi lands. Give them some of the Toyotomi lands in exchange for a truce, and we can bury the hatchet, not have to kill each other. It only makes sense to make Hideyori a vassal, I think, just, just a flex. It would just be a flex. It would not be efficient at all. He's got 100 officers that I could use to uh, jump me up into another tier. Just for, well, getting all those officers would jump me up into another tier because my lands are pretty empty. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. It's a tough call. I like the idea of taking my, you know, keeping my Oda core for the most part and fighting the Tokugawa with them. You know, that's the thing. What if we fight the siege and then just get him to submit later? Right? I mean, if we don't get all these territories, maybe I can just get him to submit, become a vassal after the siege. I feel like I need the siege to get the good relations with the Mori right now. Because I can't get the... Uh, we're They're untrusting right now. Oh, this is a hard choice. I don't know. <laughs> this is a hard choice. As soon as I take the truce, the very next turn they're going to be asking me for help to fight the Mori. And that's going to cause uh, our status with the Mori to plummet. So, the real question is, can I have negotiate a truce with the Mori right now? Or are they not accepting, are they, are they not going to hear me for a truce? That's the thing that I don't know, that I have no information on knowing. Are the Mori going to be able to negotiate with the truce? That's the thing. Because if they're not, then I'm just going to get bogged down helping them. He's got treasure. Oh, shit. Got a lot of treasure. Got the Toyotomi, all that, all the riches. Got all his riches from Osaka. He took with him, huh? Look at that. He's got a duck scroll. He's got an atlas, world atlas map. Wow, that's a really accurate map. I think we're going to refuse the request. Just fight the siege. I think it'd be a bit bigger uh, headache. Do 
Dude, but it'd be so funny to have Hideyori. To have Hideyori as my vassal is so funny. It's so funny. I can already see him fucking up and requesting for troops. And me just... Nobukatsu just yelling at him. Get your shit together. Get your shit together, toddler. It's got a lot of officers though, man. It's got a lot of officers. Got a lot of good ones, of course. A lot of good generals we could use against the Tokugawa. Mitsunari being one of them, man. Mitsunari. Dude, I'd be giving up. I'd, I'm giving up a lot of people doing this. Quite a few. But we didn't need them before. We don't need them now. You know what I mean? All right, we're gonna. I'll take the deal. I want a treasure. I want something cool. Valor plus three. There we go. We'll take that. I don't know if I want to take a domain from him. Maybe this one. No, because this is deep in my territory. I mean, it, it's not like he's ever going to break off. Not like vassals are ever going to leave. So I don't see the point of even taking territory. I'd want him to stay pretty strong so that he can fight the Mori if he has to. All right, we're going to accept the terms of surrender. You have any gold? Yeah, I'll take that. Take whatever gold you got. No, I don't want to. I don't want to fight them again. I I want to go east. I gotta go east to fight. So I have to take the vassal. I have to take the vassal state because I need to go east and deal with the Aasu. Our trust just ran out. Our truce just ran out. I should say. So we're gonna be fight facing off against the Tokugawa. So I need to like put this behind me already. You know what I mean? So I'd like. I need to turn my armies around and head east. Re reshape my provinces. Reshape the provinces and then head east. Relocate everybody. Leave somebody in charge of this area overlooking Hideyori. Hideyori's little, little vassal state. And then just go start fighting. Uh, start dealing with the Tokugawa. Mori can't be that strong. They can't be that strong. Where they're going to be giving me headaches. Yeah, they have a lot of soldiers, but... You guys don't think the Toyotomi... As a satellite state with a little bit of backing from us... If we leave a province, provincial leader... Can just hold off the Mori? Maybe I don't have to get a deal done with the Mori. You know what I mean? They can't be that strong. I feel like... Uh, I should be able to just delegate and leave uh, Hideyori and, and whoever I put in charge of them to it. Two hundred thousand soldiers. They have to deal with the Shimazu. It's not like they're just going to be focusing me. Chosokabe are kind of hanging in there. I need to play it to Chosokabe in a... Uh, 1582 or 1584. They seem like they're up against it because of Hideyoshi. He 
He's got 18,000 soldiers across seven castles. He's got to be able to get at least 80k from those castles. If he holds them, right? Seven. 15. Uh, 21, 22, 24. Mm, 29, 30, 30,000. That's it. I thought he'd be able to hit 80. See, now, if we could switch who we're controlling, this would be the part of the stream where I switch to the Toyotomi. And I start bringing the Toyotomi back. Uh, I don't think it'd be that hard, actually. They have really good officers. Wipe out the Toyotomi, then make a, make a crew, make a promise with the old crew. Okay. That's not a bad suggestion. He won't hand over his main castle. That's horseshit. He'll only, he'll only hand over two castles if I want to take a truce and come back later, but there's not going to be a later because the Mori will wipe him out if he's by himself. He'll be gone by the time we come back. Alright, I'm going to make him a vassal. Fuck it. Counting on me? I wouldn't count on me. I wouldn't count on me. It didn't it wasn't even a turn. It wasn't even a turn before he asked for help. That's funny. Alright, who's the who are we fighting? Um, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to destroy the Mori's armies, and then I'm going to go deal with the Tokugawa, and I'm going to leave somebody in charge. That's what I'm going to do. So whatever the reinforcements that he wants right now, we'll give him his reinforcements. But I have an army in the field. I'm going to go destroy the Mori's forces, and then I'm going to go back and prepare to deal with Ieyasu. What castle is it that he's asking for help for? Oh, this okay. Bro, Hideyori. The Toyotomi end up serving the Oda. Nobukatsu. That's awesome. Alright, let's try a truce. We'll try to negotiate with the Mori. But if they don't take the truce, then... Cannot offer tributes to distant clans other than... The Shogunate. There is no enemy clan to form a truce with. Are you serious? We're it's open war. Open war, buddy. That's weird. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'm not going to have Mitsunari. I should have thought about that. You know, we might we might do an officer edit, bring Mitsunari over. We'll say that's part of the deal. You know, Mitsunari has to come along. We accept your surrender, but we want Mitsunari. We have plans for him. Why do I have to go around? What the hell is this? We all... We cluttered together here? What? What is this? Why can't you go to the castle? Okay. Wow, this route. Alright, we're going to destroy the Mori. We'll teach the Mori a lesson, then we'll head back home. We need to prepare to deal with the Tokugawa. I have one ally, the Yusugi, although I'm not sure they're going to want to fight anytime soon. 
I don't think I can save the Hojo either. It's way too late. Yeah, if I can bring... Uh, let me think about it. I might bring Mitsunari over. Might have to say he's part of the bargain. He's part of the deal. Give me that a catchy fell uh catchy. Give me that uh Ishida feller. Wait, is there anything here? These other ones? No. Okay. All right. Let's go, everybody. The Mori are looking for a fight. We'll give them a fight. Pick the bad day to march. Might be Nobukatsu's only time, like, ever facing the Mori in battle. Where are your armies? Okay, there they are. Okay, the game says you have 200,000, so where are they? Maybe we'll take the territories and give them to Hideyori. Take a castle. Negotiate with the Mori. Maybe buy Hideyori time, something like that. Take two castles, give one back to the Mori. Make an alliance, uh... Give the other one to Hideyori, make a truce, give Hideyori time to build up. Something like that. Rebuild Castle Town. Nah, no, it's alright, it's fine. I forgot I've got Kanbei. Does anybody know how much longer uh, Kanbei is going to be with us? Better build training grounds just in case. Edit Mitsunari and Yoshitsugu. Oh yeah, that's right. Yoshitsugu's over there. I would prefer Sakon, honestly. Yoshitsugu's Yoshitsugu's unfair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yoshitsugu's insanely unfair. Wait, which way are you going, bud? You don't need to go that way. You can just go this way. Go for the castles. We came all this way. We're, we're not leaving without taking something. Some land. We're plundering something. You know what I mean? Wait, somebody's almost out of supplies. That guy and that guy. Four units, is that all? Okay. That's not even fair. <laughs> Seven units. Okay, one more. Nope, we're killing them. We're killing them faster than they can bring them to the fight. Uh, no, we're all right. Well, I guess I'll take it. So I don't upset the Uesugi. All right, Shige, Tomo's out of supplies. Oh, he's got to go to my castle? Oh, they're never going to make it. I thought they could go to, through the Toyotomi castles. 
All right, we might as well fight fight a battle. My forces are already running out of supplies, so we've got to go back. 1604? Oh, shit. We got him for nothing, then. We got Kanbei for nothing. Okay, Shigetomo's out of supplies, so we'll put him in the very front. Which is not much, not much closer than this spot, actually. Sen's got to be running out of supplies. She's been deployed for a while. Okay. Let's just beat down the Mori real quick. Now, if I get a truce with the Mori done, they can't attack the uh, Hideyori either. By extension, so we just have to beat them down and then get a truce done. We can turn that truce into something else later, or just let them fight later on, but... Mori fools, man. We took Osaka Castle. I don't know how these guys think they stand a chance. Should just turn around now before it's too late. Surround the camp. Surround the units, I mean. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I expect nothing less, no Bukatsu. Talking trash. Oh, he's gonna get away, damn it. Oh, she got him. Nice. Wow, the Mori are uh, not good. They are not very good late game at all. Where are you going? This battle is over in the blink of an eye. Wow. Okay. Nice and easy. The way is clear. Yeah, we're just beating down the Mori real quick, Ikari. Try to give them a taste of our power so that hopefully they can uh, back off. Because we're running out of supplies. I didn't want to force a battle, but I'm running out of supplies. We need to head back. Start uh, planning our campaign into the east. Alright, that castle's ours, but can we get one more castle? 23 days, send. Okay. I think I'll send you this way then. Let's go. Let's just take this because we're out of supplies. We can take this. We can stand on this castle. Storm it. Go. 
Need to take this so we can help Nobukatsu. I did not expect to be all the way out here when I set out. <laughs> Very unexpected, but you know, one thing leads to another. You ready to negotiate yet? No. No truce. Interesting. Okay. Just hold on for reinforcements, Nobukatsu. Okay. Out of supplies, but we can sit on the castle at least. Where are you going? Go catch him, catch him. Don't let him get away. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm missing too many people. Could not win that. Yeah, I could not win that. Okay. Mm, they still don't want to talk. How can I get this battle with my soldiers and actually fight it? I missed them. I just missed them. That's not even an authority trigger. Okay. These guys are out of supplies. Let's just beat these guys down. And then um, we'll just reshape our forces to head east after this. I think I'm just going to give these castles to Hideyori. I, not that he can do anything with them, honestly, but... There's no reason for me to hold on to them either. If he can take them, right? He should be able to take them, though. I can't see them not being able to use them. Oh, what's up, Didi? Yeah, we got them to submit. They've given up, so they're a vassal now. So Hideyori and the rest of the Toyotomi forces work for us. We're just um dealing with the Mori right now. Beating them back. If you didn't see the beginning of the stream, I'll recommend going back and checking out the Siege of Osaka. 
We had a pretty epic siege battle. We actually had a battle outside of the walls of Osaka first. It was a large map battle. It was like 13 units against 12. So I had to scatter the army that was in front of the castle, and then we laid siege to the castle. It was pretty good. It kind of broke their... Uh, it was the straw that broke the camel's back for them. Alright, Sen, you gotta stay back. Let's try to get this guy. Destroyed. Yes. Musket power. They're both gonna go. Surround this guy. Okay, he's routed. Yep. Let's get this last guy. Where's a uh, Sen? Man, the Mori are pretty weak. They really fall off once uh, Terumoto takes over. Yeah, I've got the uh, provisions policy, I think, at level 2 or level 3 right now, Mikolai. I'd actually like to cap it out, but it's kind of hard to balance the budget around it. Okay. Yeah, they don't want a truce, so... Get all our forces back, get everybody home. We gotta deal with the Ieyasu now. Ieyasu who's wiping out the Hojo. Bondbreaker ploy, what is this? Between the Mori clan and the Chosokabe, let's do that. Good suggestion. How long is it going to take? 45. Okay. It's not terrible. Okay, so let's get everybody back. Oh, I missed one. Oh, okay, he's heading to a castle. All right. Definitely can't negotiate, right? Okay. Oh, we can't give him... Can't give him the castle, that sucks. Well, I don't, definitely don't want these two. <laughs> I definitely don't want these two spots. Um, shit, I don't know what to do with them. I could try to create a little force here and put him on defensive to fight a siege. 
Because if I lose a siege here, it's not going to do anything over here. You know, there's a big space here. I don't know if I'll have the time, and I, I don't have a standing army. I need a standing army here for a little while to be able to do that, so... I don't know. Can I edit who? Uh, Mikolai, who are you talking about? Mitsunari? Yeah, I guess I can do that. He's not very loyal to uh, Hideyori. Um, his political's high, right? Clan, yep. Oda. Select face, what does that mean? Oh, okay. I like this one. He's younger, but still. There we go. Okay, we got Mitsunari. That's our that's our uh, bargaining chip, our main bargaining chip with the Toyotomi. We got Mitsunari. I wonder if he kept... Does he keep his rank or does he lose his rank? hope he keeps his rank. He keeps his rank. Holy shit. 30,000? We can also appoint um, Hideyori, depending on his policy, to Amigre. Give him an Amigre roll. Increases disaster damage prevention rate. That's trash. I mean, I do have a big... Whatever. We'll do it just to have it on there. He answers to Toku, and then Toku lets me know what he's babbling about, what the kid's babbling about. That's how it works. Kiriyori's crying again. Zenzamori are attacking him. Okay, all right. Tell him I'll send some people over. We'll take it. We'll get and take it care of. Let's get and take it care of. Don't not to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, I can't give them the castles. I tried. Um, I tried to give them the castles. I tried to uh, already, but you can't for some reason, which is weird because I've done it before. It's a different force. No, I haven't seen the new show, the new Shogun show. No, I've heard it's really good. Somebody had said it's kind of like. Um, Game of Thrones like okay so what am I gonna do here I'm gonna break apart this province make a new province here relocate our base I think it's time for Nobukatsu to head back home back to Awari back to his grassroots Let's see how much that's going to cost. Thirty-five thousand to go back to Kyushu. Where are we at? Ten. I could get four thousand from the buffalo helmet. Be almost halfway there. Okay. Alright guys, well, all this stuff is going to take a while. I think I'm going to do this off stream, so I'm going to call it here for tonight. And on the next one, I'll have uh, shuffled all this around. So, I'll do all this, because this is going to take a little bit of time. It's going to be kind of tedious, so I'll do all this off stream. And then on the next uh, Nobukatsu live stream, we'll uh, pick it up and start our battle against the uh, Ieyasu, who's really our last remaining enemy for supremacy.
So, thanks everybody uh, for stopping by tonight. Uh, we're going to have the Mazuyuki run still going. I'll have another Mazuyuki this week. I'm going to try to get the top five gunnery clans video out on Monday or Tuesday. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys like the video. And if you haven't subbed yet, make sure you sub to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, take care.